Welcome back Raider Nation, it's Joseph for Zenny62. So this video is somewhat part two of my previous video with regards to whether or not we need a different play caller besides John Gruden. And what this really stems is thinking about the last few years. You know, we know John took over in 2018, excuse me, Coach Gruden, and we haven't had the greatest results. We saw some great moves moving forward, but the last two years, you know, have been somewhat of lateral movement. And I do want to preface this video by saying that I'm a huge John Gruden fan. I mean, this guy is probably one of the best motivators. You hear him speak, you hear his coaching uh, techniques, as well as his motivational speeches. You want to go out there and play with them. I mean, yes, fans, you're just hyped up. So this is in, not an anti-John Gruden video whatsoever. But, you know, Raider Nation, we fell in love with the idea of John Gruden coming back because we remember John Gruden from 1998. When he came to the Raiders, he was the young gun, the innovator, the coach that thought outside the box, you know, maybe considered a boy genius by some. And so that's our thinking of who John Gruden is. And we know he spent after that, subsequent to that, he won a Super Bowl in Tampa Bay, became uh, working for Monday Night Football, ESPN. And we know his love for the game. That's unquestionable. But I started thinking about both the defense and the offense. And the one thing that everybody says with regards to the defense is that it was too complicated, didn't work for the personnel that we had, blah, blah, blah. We know that. That's basically a nice way of saying that our coaching staff and the defense was abysmal, except for a few uh, position coaches. Now, then I started thinking about, well, why wouldn't that apply to the offense? You know, and granted, we have, I guess, a top 10 offense last year, and our offense is good. But can it be better? Absolutely. And this is what I'm going to say, is that why, and, and this may be judging apples and oranges, right? But I'm going to do it anyways. And again, I want you guys to participate, send comments below, because this is just an opinion piece. It's not facts. Except for a couple of things that I will point out. But I want to interact with you. You let me know what you think so that we can have a dialogue. And that's all this is. is an opportunity for us to talk or maybe ask the questions out loud. And the question is, if we really think that that defense was too complicated, when we already know how complicated John Gruden's office and playbook is, even players now that have been in the system for three years say they're grasping it. You know, they, they've, they're getting a foothold on this massive playbook or, or his the offensive schemes. So think about that. A player, and every player is different, but to have a player say that he's kind of finally grasping it after three years with the team, then why wouldn't the argument be made if we're going to throw Paul Gunther in the bus saying his, his defense is too complicated and blah, 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 why couldn't we say the same thing about John Gruden? Maybe because we love John Gruden. That could be easily the case. But let's stop and think about it. If you have a playbook that's this big, right, almost like one of those old school phone books, and you're scrolling through that when you're trying to call a play while you have the other play going on how well are you going to get to the plays that maybe you're going to want to get to if you had a playbook that was this small it's easier to go through that and say this is the play i want instead of having to go through this much you know plays in a playbook and of course i'm just using this as a visual reference but just think about that you know, is his offense too complicated and maybe not necessary? Or could it be that we just didn't have the personnel to achieve some of those complex or innovative plays? I don't know. But our red zone 
offense is abysmal. We have failed in the red zone offense or in the red zone period. And so we have to ask the questions is that does something have to be tweaked? How would you feel about Raiders, specifically John, bringing in somebody who reminds him of himself? A young gun who thinks outside the box, that's innovative, that can work along with John Gruden. That can say, look at a play and say, I like that coach. How about if we do this and try this or combine this with this? Why can't we do that? Why haven't we seen that? And I spoke and reached out to Vinny Bonsignor from the Las Vegas Review Journal. He really didn't have an answer for me. But the one thing, as all of us know, and he just kind of reiterated, is that he knows that he works closely with the offensive coordinator. He knows that that's why he's kept them there that long. And they're talking to each other about scheming up a play or what play should we, they should be called. But is that enough? Because we see success, but not enough for success for us to go to the playoffs, win a playoff game, move on to the championship game, and win the Super Bowl. So we might have achieved levels of success, but I think we're stagnant now. And you have a great quality quarterback like Derek Carr. That situation, we don't know how it's going to resolve itself because he only has two years left in his contract. Whether or not the Raiders will throw him under the bus and say, well, we need to switch it up again. And that's the thing is that we're always constantly switching up things. The defense, getting rid of players, bringing in players now. Do you think also that we need some stability? But having said that, let me ask you. I want you to respond. I'm not going to go into the different schemes or play calling, you know, why two spider banana or what have you. You know, I'm not it's not all about that. I want to hear your opinions and thoughts. Comment below. Uh, you know, if I get enough comments and a good response, I'll do a video on your response. I'll give a shout out to you. Let let me know what you think and I'll let you know what I think about your comments. So keep it here on Zenny62. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, Raider Nation, keep the faith. <laughs>